Hey YouTubians, welcome back to another video. Today, something a little different. In this channel, we normally work on Volkswagens. This is Jawbreaker, the 1973 Volkswagen Beetle. That is the 1960 Volksrod Baja Franken Beetle build. And that's a generator post Hurricane Ian, where I was going through, working on everything, and come to find out, had a real small hairline crack right there on the casting on the fuel shutoff valve. So we got another one of those ordered up. Um, you know, we're kind of still dealing with the whole shoulder surgery, um, post shoulder surgery, if you will, healing up, doing better. But today we got to work on the Mama Mobile. 2018 Dodge Durango. Love this thing, to be honest with you. I know I joke around and call it the Mama Mobile, but I love this thing. This thing's amazing. But well, we got to check engine light on. Ansel reached out to me and said, hey, we want to send you an OBT2 scanner. I don't know what we're going to scan in normal Volkswagen world here, but we got to check engine light on the Mama Mobile. So we're going to dive into this FX3000 OBD2 scanner. This actually is a pretty sweet unit. It will actually go through and do your engine, transmission, ABS, airbag. You can go through and do some of your oil resets and some of the other trouble resets. So we're gonna go ahead and dive into this real quick and check it out, see how it works and find out what code is on the Mama Mobile and go from there. Another nice little feature that I like about this is you can plug this in to a computer, download firmwares, the whole nine yards, do updates to this machine, and as well, actually print out your troubles. So a pretty cool little unit. Let's go uh, plug it in and see what's up. All right, it's pretty simple. One end plugs into the OBD2 port. The other end plugs right here into the back of the unit. All right, ignition on. We're right, going to diagnose, hit enter, OBD2, buttons are a little stiff. Now it's processing, so it shows that we've got one code in there, read everything, so we're going to go ahead and read codes. Main ECU, P0456, evaporative emission system leak detected, very small leak. All right, so that's what's going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in here, back up, go down, erase codes, yes. All right, everything's been cleared. Go back up, buttons are a little stiff, but it's also brand new, so all right, there's the permanent one. That's just fine because I just did a soft erase. Okay. Another nice thing about this little system too, you can do onboard monitoring, your O2 system tests, <clears throat> evaporative system tests, vehicle information, all that fun jazz right there. You can also go down and do a reset. You reset your ABS, reset your uh, brake, reset oil, and also battery on certain vehicles. So this little thing right here is pretty sweet, but I'll go ahead and pop the hood real quick and we'll show you what's going on with that EVAP code on this Durango. Uh, we'll go ahead and pop the hood here and I'll show you what's going on. So of course, this is the 3.6 liter V6. Uh, it's basically the same setup for the 5.7 liter Hemi V8. But your right here, you've got part of your evaporative line. If you look right down there, there's actually a crack in the line right at a fitting. Now, this entire hose piece is one assembly that comes up underneath your engine cover. And this right here, pretty simple. We've got pull that cover, that 110 millimeter. And this entire top engine cover just pops right off. Set that out of the way. And right there is the evaporative purge solenoid. So that line 
comes around, goes around, and comes back up right to there. Um, that is one hose, unfortunately, and it's a dealer only item. Pretty sure it's the same hose for your Hemi and your 3.7 liter V6. Sorry, 3.6 liter V6. Um, other than that, the only other thing that normally goes bad is this solenoid here, which again, just pops out two hoses, one connector, very easy fixes. Um, unfortunately, even with this car, it has a, it's a certified pre-owned and it has the additional mileage and, and time on the warranty. They're saying things like this aren't covered. From what I can tell, we're looking at a $40 fix, no big deal. So anyway, that's the look at the Ansel FX3000 and what's going on here with the Durango and how the, and what the most common issues are with that code. So guys, till the next time, be good, be kind to of one another. We'll catch you later.